Welcome back. And so over the weekend, Mark had finished the uh, design of these bulkheads that, uh, or these closeouts that the gear um, retraction mechanism and the gear leg attached to. And so we need to quickly make uh, molds for these because this was something that um, I hadn't designed because I didn't know exactly how it was going to be and was relying on Mark to come up and make sure it was structurally sound. So anyway, we have to create these um, plugs quickly and obviously the molds and then parts before we can actually bond the aft bulkhead um, to the pressure bulkhead. So I am um, quickly uh, created the plugs for this. So this one is four of the parts there and you can see the sort of sitting there embedded uh, into this one plug and just going to use the ball mill to create it. So quickly put that one together and you'll see here in a second the other one um, put that one together as well and uh, Zach and I got on to uh, quickly putting together the platform. So here's the other one, a little bit dark this one, it's difficult to see but anyway that's the the other bracket um, that is attaches to the um, the rear pressure bulkhead in the cabin on the back side there and the gear leg attaches to it at the bottom and the scissor mechanism attaches to it on the top. So um, pretty simple plugs to create um, but still something that really need to be done before we could actually bond the roof onto the fuselage so we've got to get these ones underway. So here's Zach um, screwing down the uh, plywood here on the first platform and unfortunately this week so far Monday and Tuesday just gone by um, Devon and Jeff are both sick, both um, kind of with a cold and or flu. So hopefully they'll be back in the shop tomorrow. Uh, we lost, you know, a lot of productivity not having them there. And here Zach is cutting uh, the foam for the first uh, plug. So just using the bandsaw. Normally we would use a hot wire, but this one was fairly small and easy and um, easy enough to use the bandsaw. And it's been a while since we actually milled some foam and I was wondering if I actually knew how to do it still. But anyway, it all came back to me fairly quickly in terms of creating the toolpaths and getting the machine all configured. Because uh, last time I was using the machine was trimming the doors. It's a little bit different uh, procedure than cutting the foam. Anyway, this is just a ball mill pass on this one and everything going smoothly there. And meanwhile, uh, Zach was doing some uh, waxing of some of the other plugs or some of the other molds here. Um, so they're ready to lay up later and this is one of the uh, lower wing straight ones there with that um, the indent there for where the nose or for where the main gear retracts into and here's that one that just was on the mill there that one came off uh, all done there in the foam and ready uh, to be glassed up so it didn't take too long to run that one and then uh, actually got the next one running and there's the other lower wing straight mold, so that one is uh, also getting its uh, round of waxing, so it's ready to lay up that part. I'm not sure when that will be, but we're just basically getting all the molds prepped, so uh, everything's ready to, to lay up parts. And so here's the second one running, again just using the ball mill here. Um, this one's a little bit larger than the other one, um, so I left that one running uh, this evening, and uh, I'll be ready in the morning to glass that one. And uh, Roberto and Chris came in this evening so we had a little bit more manpower up again and uh, they uh, glassed this one uh, just earlier and uh, so that one now is, is ready just needs a quick sanding and will be ready to spray some putty on it uh, hopefully uh, tomorrow if, if all goes well and lastly our visors arrived from Rosen so that those um, are something that we'll be able to install into the overhead um, panel there and we're probably going to make a slight modification to the mount on those just so they fit nice and snug and I want to mention also too that our Audi mechanic whose name is Jordan has been in and he'll be in again uh, tomorrow night and he's working on the engine now so we'll have some progress pics of that next time. Anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching.